Imagine two of the most powerful infantry fighting vehicles on the modern battlefield, both designed to carry soldiers through hell and bring them back alive. One was built in America's vast defense industry, the other in Sweden's quiet precision labs. Today, Ukrainian soldiers put them head to head. Speed, firepower, armor, and survivability. This isn't theory. This is real war testing. M2 Bradley versus CV-90. Which machine truly dominates the front lines? Before we begin the test, make sure to subscribe to Military Technology for more exclusive field comparisons and frontline insights. Now, let's see how these beasts perform when pushed to their limits. The Swedish CV-90 was engineered for Northern Europe's harsh terrain. Fast, modular, and protected by layered armor with advanced thermal camouflage. The American M2 Bradley, on the other hand, is a veteran of decades of conflict. Iraq, Afghanistan, and now Ukraine. Constantly upgraded and battle-proven. On paper, they look evenly matched. But in real combat, paper means nothing. What matters is how they move, shoot, and survive under fire. Our first challenge, mobility. Both vehicles line up on the muddy Ukrainian training ground. Engines roar, 600 horsepower in the CV-90, against roughly 500 in the Bradley. The CV-90 weighs around 28 tons, the Bradley nearly 35 tons, with additional reactive armor pushing it to almost 38 tons. The race begins. Tracks dig into the soil. Mud flies. Despite its weight, the Bradley fights to keep up, but the lighter CV-90 edges ahead and crosses the finish first. Round one goes to Sweden. Next, firepower. The CV-90 mounts a Bofors 40mm autocannon, capable of firing up to 300 rounds per minute. High explosive rounds can devastate infantry and light armor within several kilometers while armor-piercing shells can penetrate over 100 millimeters of steel. The M2 Bradley counters with the 25 millimeter M242 Bushmaster chain gun, famous for its reliability and blistering rate of fire, up to 200 rounds per minute, plus twin tow anti-tank missiles. Accuracy test begins. Shells crack the air. Both hit their targets, but the CV-90 shows tighter grouping, its stabilized gun and optics giving a clear advantage at range. But an infantry vehicle isn't just a gun, it's a lifeboat for soldiers. So the crews test disembarkation. First, the CV-90. The rear ramp drops fast. Soldiers leap out smoothly, using the angled armor as cover. Then the Bradley. The ramp is slower, but wider. More space, easier exit for a full squad. It's more comfortable inside the Bradley, one Ukrainian soldier admits, and we can carry more men. However, the Swedish crew argues that the CV-90's compact layout makes it faster to mount up and move. Both have their pros, speed versus capacity. Now comes what truly saves lives, armor. The Bradley's extra weight comes from its reactive armor blocks and spaced composite plating, designed to defeat shaped charges and FPV drone hits. The CV-90, though lighter, uses modular steel ceramic panels that can be replaced in the field. Both can survive anti-tank mine blasts, and soldiers report that even with damaged tracks or electronics, these machines keep moving. One crewman smiles. It blew up under us, but we just kept driving. Ukrainian crews talk about survival. The Bradley's weight gives extra confidence. Its dynamic armor often absorbs FPV drone strikes entirely. The CV-90 lacks reactive tiles, but compensates with smart design. A sloped hull, double floor protection, and barracuda camouflage that reduces thermal signature at night. Under thermal optics, soldiers say, you can see the men running, but not the vehicle. 
It's a ghost on the battlefield. In terms of raw impact, the 40mm rounds of the CV-90 deliver a wider blast radius, about 15 meters of lethal fragmentation, perfect for suppressing infantry or striking light vehicles. But the Bradley's 25mm Bushmaster fires faster and steadier, ideal for close support and covering retreating troops. And when the tow missiles come into play, the Bradley becomes a tank killer. One soldier laughs. Two missiles, two hits. The enemy turret was gone. Different philosophies. Precision versus volume. Speed versus strike power. When it comes to optics and crew comfort, the American design takes the lead. Bradley crews have night cameras, thermal imagers, and interior screens, so even dismounted troops can see what the driver and gunner see. The CV-90's system is simpler, night lights instead of full thermal imaging for the driver, but it includes Swedish analog voice controls and advanced stabilization. And yes, the Swedish engineers thought of everything, even a small built-in heater and food warmer inside the cabin. As one soldier jokes, it's not just armor, it's a sauna on tracks. After hours of tests, racing, shooting, landing, and surviving, the verdict surprises everyone. The CV-90 wins in accuracy, agility, and stealth. The Bradley dominates in crew comfort, armor strength, and sustained firepower. Both can take hits, both can save lives, and both have already proven their worth in real Ukrainian combat. There's no clear winner, one commander says, but together, they're unbeatable. In the end, these two machines represent the best of Western engineering. One Swedish, one American, both fighting for freedom. If you enjoyed this comparison and want to see more real battlefield technology in action, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us again, right here on Military Technology. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next stories.